So, day in the life of Lauren and David. <laughs> Generally don't look, well I might actually look at us <laughs> waving the hammer around. Generally don't look like this, but potentially going to be looking like this a lot more soon. We're going to go and have a little look today about potential <laughs> life-changing events, scenarios. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we're, we're, we're fill you in as we go. You ready? So, as David said, we are in the midst of making a lot of life changes and it all starts with action. So, we are about to take action with a hammer. It's the only tool I've got <laughs> at the moment. But <laughs> You know what, who needs tools? We we're, we're, we're always find a way and that is it in life. If you want something, you go make that's it happen. You've got, to, you've got to break the old shit down, so that's yeah. why I need the hammer. We've got, we've got to break some shit down and that is some serious stuff we've got to break down because I'll be showing you in a minute what it looks like. So let's have a little bit of an update of exactly, can we get you in shot? <laughs> exactly what's been happening. It's um, what we look like during the week by the way guys. Not uh, always glam. It's what I look like at night, <laughs> going out on the streets. <laughs> um, but no, serious, serious, serious update. Because we have been going for a lot in ourselves and in our relationship, but it's kind of like I can feel that that change like we want to change now like we've been living at my place for well you've been there a year and a half with me I've been there for a while but it kind of feels old and stagnant now unfortunately my landlord passed away which is very sad as well so we kind of feel like it's time to move on it's time for change but we are looking at doing van life I mean we're so serious about doing van life we flew into Scotland to look at a van that we absolutely fell in love with it and we pretty much had it over the line. And then on Valentine's Day, he decided to ring us after we got everything sorted. Finances. It, finances, insurance, the whole lot. And he rang us on Valentine's Day and said, I've got some bad news. I've sold the van. And we was absolutely gutted. Absolutely gutted by it. But, um, you know. We always believe that the universe has a plan. Uh, yeah. And yeah. if it wasn't that necessary, it wasn't that van, in particular, it will be another van, which is yeah. not that one. And there were a few things. Once that decision happened, we, were, we got a little we bit upset. Kind of, yeah. um, we actually came to the conclusion that actually there was a few things on that van that weren't like weren't good, like exactly what we wanted. And this actually has given us the opportunity to get exactly what we wanted because you had doubts on the actual van spare. There was a few little bits and bobs. I few little. Yeah. I was alright of it, but there was a few like you know when you lift up the bonnet of a of a relatively new car, you're going to expect to yeah. find it looking mint, and it wasn't that mint. Yeah. Uh, inside, like the steering wheel, there was a lot of wear for a van that had apparently only done seventy thousand miles, but yeah. it was brought from auction. And whenever you're buying from auction, you never really quite know what you're going to get. You never really know the the legitimacy of the vehicle and there was no service history with it or anything like that so you know there's yeah. a few little suspicions a and few then little... also for us to live in it full time we needed it yeah, to, we be, needed like, to be solid. a certain length and for, for David because he's quite tall so there's a few things that we kind of was compromising on to try and get it done but yeah. obviously God decided no this is not the band for you there's a, there's a better one out there so now yeah. we're on mission to find, to find a band. another band <laughs> because what did come of it was um, you know this guy that we was buying it off the layout and everything was perfect it's exactly how we wanted it and he builds them for a living so what he done was he opened up a slot a build slot for for us if we can get him a van so we're currently looking for sprinter vans we're going to look at one tomorrow um, but you know really low mileage in really good condition a lot newer um, so we feel more comfortable buying a van ourselves and taking a van to him because I've been able to do my research, I know where it's come from, I know the background of the van. So anyway, if we can buy the van, we're going to take it to Scotland and he's going to build it for us in eight weeks. Yeah. So that's the plan so, at the minute. Also, we want to let our viewers know that yeah. why we want to live in a van. Why do we <laughs> want to live in a van? Okay, when, my, when I told my mum and dad they were like, what? that I want to live in a van, they were like... Your old man's like, I'm supposed to be providing you security and like, we're going to go yeah, live in a van. And now we're going to be <laughs> travellers. But the thing is, is that we, like, I've always loved travelling. David's always loved oh travelling. Oh God, I've always like, wanted to travel. You've always wanted to travel. You haven't necessarily been a lot of places, but like I have been a lot of places. And I've always flown in and out countries. Like I go to a place, I, I go to that place in particular, and then I fly back. Like I've never actually full on explored. And I feel like, 
you know, we got drawn to watching a lot of van life videos, didn't we? Oh, when, we we was obs- when we first got together, we were yeah, obsessed we, by we it. Obsessed with it. We were watching videos all the time. We were like, oh my God, how, what a life. So we always had it in our mind, like a year and a half ago, that we really wanted to just like convert. And it was when we went camping. Do you remember we met our camper friends? And they yeah. lived in a, well, not lived in it, but over the summer, they um, lived in their VW camper. And they were talking about the old couple that we met in that restaurant. Yeah, camper. and they were loving it. They were, they were loving, loving it. Life. And they were telling us, and we were like, oh my God, this sounds amazing. They were like a lovely, sweet old couple. They've got a couple of bikes like on the back. And then they literally drive to a place and then they get their bike and explore it. And then when they drive to the next location, they're like seeing, seeing scenic routes and all of this. So once they sort of said that, that initially got us into looking at van life last summer. And then, yeah, the, and then this and then summer, we're yeah, well, by it. now, February 2022, we are in serious, like this is where we've 100% made our mind up that we're moving out of the flat, buying a van. We're pretty much like full on like, <laughs> 100% doing We're 100% it. We're 100% doing it. I also have another option of having a base in Keston. So earlier, when this one had the, the, the hammer out, it's because we're going to convert the stables into a workspace where we can still hold our retreats, we can still hold our one-to-one clients because the van is very small. The van's... <laughs> very and I've small. got two kids as well. So. Kids. But it's not, it's not... I mean, the van, the van is built for... for Four to sleep for so you know the, it's fine when it comes to like my children I only have them one night a week but you know the the point of the space is to have somewhere for our business to operate from as well and obviously just to have that park up as well your mum's in a beautiful location beautiful. and when we feel like we need to just you know settle down for a few days or something like stretch that stretch out our legs stretch out <laughs> our legs we're gonna go but there's a lot of work to be done yeah. and we're still not 100% sure whether we're gonna be converting this barn we're kind of like 80% sure. We're going to go look at it today. We're going to pull some walls and some boards apart and see what's lurking yeah. behind. What we've seen, it's an absolute shite hole. It's, a, it's a mess. It it's a mess. mess. And there's so much like... I've broken. priced it. We, we've already priced it. Yeah. So like, I've got a figure in mind like of how much it's going to cost. It's like a five-year-old building. So yeah. we've got to take in... And it's probably older than that, actually. But the it's key point is it doesn't need to be anything it spectacular. It just needs to be a nice little space. That, that's nice inside, it's warm and weather tight. Yeah. You know, and I've got a few years in the construction game. I haven't been on the tools for a while, but you know, get get the tools back out. I brought my main tool of uh, <laughs> my main yeah. tool of usage is a hammer. And uh, I'll we're show you. We're gonna start ripping out. We're gonna some start ripping just to out. see how bad it is. Worst case scenario, we're gonna wait for planning permission and um, start from scratch <laughs> but that obviously is going to cost a lot of money so we're yeah. hoping that yeah. um what's already there we can just renovate because it's in need of serious renovation it is the wind even the other day has like ripped it apart even more so it's in need of some love and some tender and some care so we're going to go down there and just see the damage see what we're working with and then we're going to see the options about what we're oh, going to yeah. do to convert the space you're going to be my little labourer right i am I'm going to show you how to use the tools, how to cut some fingers off and stuff out. Yeah? Well, I really wear dark, I really wear dark colours, so... I love really wear dark colours. When I went oh. to put out some work gear the other, the other I week, I was like, away. I don't have any work clothes. <laughs> like, Why that's not good, because a man needs to work. Like, I need to be, like, I, the, the whole physical graft, I'm looking forward to actually having a, a project like that. So, we are... We're going to get the gym bar. So what did you say? It's not that bad. Famous last words, right? It's not that bad. It's not that bad, it's really doable. Do you know what do you think? So this is what we're currently working with. As you can see, it is a little bit um, run down. As you can see, it is a stables currently. A lot of spider webs. But overall, Like David said, it's not that bad. Stink. What the fuck did you do? I like the way you whop out the camera. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's pure horseshit. <laughs> well, it's not horseshit. Yeah, it's horseshit. <laughs> so apparently, there's like a. Oh my god! <laughs> All I heard was you like sort of yelp and go, "Oh my god!" It's like laughing, and I'm thinking, "What has he done now?" Well, it turns I out I saw a rat or something. No, it turns out that these fucking these horse pits. Look, look at my trainer, look. Why <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is pure and not horseshit. I've only just started as well. You absolutely stink. I know. Luckily, it's one leg, right? <laughs> Imagine if I come back like head to toe in this shit. Oh my god, we have progress though of us getting progress? rid of this stuff. Oh, yeah. I've got a shitty wet foot. <laughs> <laughs> that absolutely stinks. Fuck <laughs> 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 hey, I think we should just go home. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck this building malarkey. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh my god, I can't do this. Uh, get a wet, w water it off. Uh, let's go, come on, come out of the break. I'm over here with a shitty foot. It's all right now. Yeah. We've only been working. We've only been working ten minutes. So I've already come. So I've been hot to I did a good one. I wellies. So I'm all right. Well, on the plus side, put some wood out. Right. Yeah, you touched it, didn't you? I need to go wash my hand. I took my trainer off. I've got a shitty hand as well. <laughs> Currently looking for some building materials. Get her off price to see. I don't know what it's going to cost. I've got a rough figure in my mind, but after stripping it back today and uh, revealing potentially some timbers, a little bit of brickwork. So let's get some prices, some figures, and then uh, let's go get breakfast. So we decided to have a calf break. We've worked really hard for like an hour. I've covered myself in horse crap. <laughs> horse crap. Within about 30 minutes, I was covered to in horse crap. To warm myself up. <laughs> yeah, to warm ourselves up, we've come to the calf and to be fair, this looks very... Oh my god, how good does this breakfast look? Coffee, Lauren's got jacket. Oh my god, that looks so good. It does. And uh, yeah, there's one thing I miss about the building game is coming in for breakfasts. So. We're saying we definitely got one hell of a project on our hands. We look forward to doing it, vlogging it. Got my little sidekick. Um, this time we have to take a back seat, baby. Okay. And if I lose you in the in the horse pit, just make sure you <laughs> keep like a hand out, yeah, so I know where to so I know where to come and fish you out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! What's under there? Ah! Oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> now that is either a rat's nest or a, oh, a duck. I don't know whether rats have nests, but they're definitely nests. They got big bird's nests. Got big bird's nests. Well, I've been these ones, I've been these ones, they're nice and fresh. Yes, that's, that's, that's good. originally what they look like and I've been getting all the webs. You've been doing the web part anyway, baby. Oh my god, that is so gross. Yeah. Woo! Mm -hmm. But, but, what? I haven't found any rats yet or any mice, yeah. which is an absolute godsend because, you know, they haven't been in here chewing for everything, making, making yeah. homes, which is absolutely great news. Okay. I'll tell you what we're going to do, get the camera. I need you to put a bar in there and lever it that way, yeah? What do you mean? So look, I need you to put a bar in here. See this? Yeah. And then lever off this wall and push this wall here. Yeah, this wall here. That way. Come on, baby, just don't flatten me with a wall. That's it. That's it. That's it, yeah, go on, go on, go on. A bit more, a bit more, a bit more. A bit more, girl, come on. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Going, baby. Awesome. Kick your ass, girl. Kick your ass. We have got so much wood. We don't come to mess around. So, update. Do you we that wall. We're now about to take this wall down. We're going to take this. One of these were hit, was here, and that's now been removed. And what are you about to do now, babe? I'm about to peel back all this board in here. I've got a funny feeling it might be a, either a bee's or a hornet's nest. 
But it's old, isn't the it? The question is... No, please do Is it old? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Alright, she's dead. So I'm currently really blocked up because I'm allergic to dust, horses, and dust. <laughs> dust <laughs> I'm so you? blocked up. Hay. It's hay. It's hay. It's hay. Is it hay? It's the hay, of course. It's the hay and the horses. Hey, hey, horses. So yeah, I'm really blocked up, but I've been literally like sweeping, doing all like the cleaning You've done work, well, babe. You've done well. Cleaning all of the walls, dusting, 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 dusting. The amount of spiderweb in this place was a joke. So, baby. <laughs> so, officially, end of day one. End of day one. This wasn't even supposed to be a day. I know. We was like, should we just go and have a look, take down one piece of wood, and before we know it, we stripped out of pretty much the whole of the inside. We've got one more section to go. But other than that, we've really... Opened it up. Opened it up, really reduced it. This is looking good. So this is the stuff we're keeping. Oh, I feel so good. Yeah. It's so good to have done this for me. I know. Day one of classroom Touch project. Touchdown. Base. 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 What are we going to do? What are we doing? We're going to go home. Go home. We're going to run bath. a nice warm bath. D. Nostril. Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay. Good teamwork, my baby. Brilliant teamwork. Whoa, end of day one. <laughs>